I thought it would be really fun to just do this super impromptu because super impromptu has been the theme for the last couple weeks. <laughs> so I don't even know what to title this of unboxing. Um, essentially these are two boxes that have come recently and I'm just tired of looking at them and I need to open them. Some special horses in these both being a little bit larger, a little bit special. This one is definitely from Canada. This one is from the States. Canada boxes come with this really fun pull tab. You literally pull them open. Canadians do it the best. Packaged in newspaper. This is giving me flashbacks, man. Hopefully it's the right horse. All right, so this is the Briarfest 2019. Um, it was one of the surprise horses for that festival. Not usually a huge fan of Pearlies, not usually a huge fan of like a lot of these surprise horses, but I really like the Andalusian mold. And I have pretty much everyone on the mold that I wanted. And this was like one of the additional ones that I was like, I wouldn't mind having that one if I could find it. So there was someone in Canada selling one, and it was the perfect opportunity to get one. I love this mold. I don't know how you all feel about it, but I am obsessed with it. The only problem I am seeing here is that the ear is like very smushed, and I'm not totally pleased with it that it is so smushed. It's like completely smushed. I don't know if it's because this box was left in the heat. Judging by the two holes in the newsprint and the two punctures at the bottom of the box. No, simply not possible. Those holes are unrelated. So that's kind of disappointing. I don't remember seeing that in the photos. I will have to go back in my records and see. But really pretty model otherwise. Um, definitely not mad about it. Definitely More conga completion purchases happening here. Nautical! He's actually a very hard to find Briar Big Ben. Um, he's very yellow. <laughs> I'm not sure about all this vintage collecting that I've suddenly had the desire to do. He's nice. He is really nice. He definitely doesn't have any issues. He's very clean. He's well kept but he's very yellow, so I don't know if I'll keep him. Okay, so this guy is pretty cool. So, I don't collect glossies. I don't like glossy briars, but there's been a couple recently that I've felt more attracted to than others. And this is definitely one of them. This is double exposure on the Big Ben mold. I really like this mold. It's got a lot of character to it. Essentially, two more Big Bens for my conga. And then she also just threw this in. She said if I can rescue it, it's free of charge. Really scratchy resin that has not made it through the test of time. Yeah, this has been an unboxing. These are just a couple things that I ordered. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry of the lack of customizing content. The collection is always